play with the creeps. She's playing against Marana. Terrorblade, one of the easiest heroes to burst. Uh, and uh, this crit ends up dying. He's going to be back on the map. We'll see if they get any good map control out of that. Could lead to more bounty runes than normal. In fact, Sam is going to scout that Jerex is playing in this area. It feels like they're trying to just gain as much control as possible. In fact, they do manage to get that disruption arrow coming through a little bit off the mark here for Jerex, but they'll get a decent amount of harassment placed on the Enchantress and actually force out those sprites really early. It was a good try. Uh, it's hard to land those long range arrows, and the try lane's one way to do that. I feel like when you have an offlane tiny, though, it's very important. Hold that thought, though, because we do have. All right, there it is. Just hitting the last Ooh. bit of the tail there on the Enchantress, so that will definitely help. It is going to be Sam who gets the final hit on that kill. But I was going to say, you know, when you have something like an offlane tiny, it's it's fairly important to get the blink it's Catching up. Definitely a little closer in terms of last hits, but just seems like across the board, EG's doing really well. Top lane, bit of a dive after Alex. There's not much that he can do here, so just toss out an arrow, not going to connect. Jerax is also chasing after him. Have that nice little ghost creep there, too. Trying to slow. Sam trying to get some of these stacks poisoned up. Does have the disruption. That's effective. And he's just getting dove so hard right now. It's very difficult. That should be a death. Yes, indeed it is. Wait right now to catch up some experience a bit. That's going to get another rune and invis this time. Still has lasso. Keep in mind that a mid observer ward does not spot. All right, see who's here. They come. Oh, there's the firefly getting started. Has his eyes on crit. Uh -oh. Taking a bit of time here. Needs to be very careful. That viper strike will get the lasso off. So it should be able to get the kill, but he's going to fall first before taking out Nifo, which is not the way he wanted that to go. Sam searching for crit over here. Isn't going to be able to see him with that fog of war. So he's going to make it out. That was a pretty big mistake by Bat. Um, probably should have just gone for Viper immediately, but as soon as he went for a crit and crit jumped away just a, an inch, that, that's where things get dangerous. Too much damage from Viper ends up and they're going to drop. It's a big sweep. And the tox. Oh, okay. So it pops. They see a lot of couriers coming over. Oh, they see S. That would be a great one to take out, but he does have the BKB, so he's going to just hold Viper into place. His Vilama tossing up. They haven't quite managed to finish off Nightfall. Oh, no, but they do have enough Firefly. Alex still alive here as the rest of the EG are just backing off. They don't have their Terror Blade. And they got to... Uh, they ended up losing. Oh, Vilama is not done yet. The toss back to the team. BKB comes out of Abed. He is not willing to stand and fight just yet. Let's look at the Demonic Purge off, sliding yeah, down just nice. a little bit to follow. The foe being tossed in with the X Marks spot. And the Vilam is still on the chase of the Avalanche. The toss up into the air, right back to S. He is taking so much harass, and somehow he's still alive. That oh, oh, the damage, though. There it is, there it is. They slay him, finally. Just keep going back and forth. Divine Lama, though, he wants to go back. Holy he's going to be able to go and just erase two. Oh, my God. Viper Strike getting used on him slows him down. But he just. But your raw HP is not very healthy compared to a, a typical core pango. So you are vulnerable to burst damage like this. So Divine Lama really making a lot of good moves for his team. Well, disruption toss out arrow doesn't connect. The purge again, but still. And uh, I think Crit does have Blink coming up. He just got yeah, a deliver. Yeah, he just bought it. So now he can initiate for his team, but they were struggling on that bit before. The Demonic Purge here in the top lane. TZ Force back as Crit's hunting over on the back line. Nightfall joining in. They get the Thunder off the BKB. It's popped over on the Terra Blade. Rolling Thunder on through. They find S. They'll turn their attention over to the Vylama, and he's fairly tanky. It's pretty difficult. He's going to try to get some more damage off, but they are handling him. This is not looking good. Vylama will fall, but now Nightfall, he is lassoed up with the rest of the team. They have the damage, so they'll be able to punish him. Well, he gets a big streak, at least, that led to two deaths, and now EG gets regained. Decent map control. Mm, nice avalanche toss over onto two. Oh, but they'll have the X off. There's going to be the roll coming through from Crit. Got the boat coming in hot over onto the Vi Lama. He has taken a lot of this damage, but he's not going to be able to survive it. Over on the side, you can see the Rao joining back in, but the BKBs have been popped. Sam having to be careful. Again, he's very, very forward here in a lot of these fights, and he's just taking a bath in the nether talks. It's going to be a double kill now as Esk has just got to go and pop the BKB. I don't know if he wants to go back in on this, though. He keeps turning like they possibly want to go in, but... Man, it's a cascade of events that uh, put Wildcard Gaming from a... Tabs, you know, try to push out these waves, even the bottom lane. There's going to be a skirmish over here on the side. Yeah, there is the Viper Strike over onto Sam. Marana's going to have to hop away. 
deception buying just a little bit of time. It's not going to be enough for Sam. It gets the purge off of the file onto the back. Alex somehow still alive, throwing out the arrow to clean up on crit. They do manage to find something. They would love to get a little bit more here. As Adam so. is trying to find this opening goes to the BKB. BKB dragged back over onto the Pfeiffer, over to Divine Llama. Just trying to find a bit more time, waste that BKB. Divine Llama needs to be careful himself. And it just feels like mm, they're not going to be able to pursue much more beyond this, because even Alex, oh, Alex, sticking, sticking around just a little bit too long. It's just a quick pick off for Abed. Really nice torrent there. Catches him like way ahead of time. All right, well, yeah, the last one on the, the, on the, uh, the hit creep wave and I feel like EG played around that. And now they're forcing a fight. They are forcing that fight. The BKB over on Eve. Eve's just says, no, I gotta get out, but there's too much physical damage. He just evaporates. By now, he's gonna try to do Round the same two. thing. I think he's going to make it out. He's a little bit tankier, but the Divine Llama position three, you know, I got to split down as I say that. Now they're gonna try to get a quick pick up. That is a fast little piggy, though. My goodness, one more hit. We'll take out Jerax. Okay, bluff. Called buff indeed, and uh, Boat does actually flip ask. There's the BKB. He knows he's got to get out of there. No, too much damage. Oh, tough one. He did not have Firefly, so he couldn't actually get away. He, he ran south because the boat... BKB thing. comes out from all, but they don't have anything to cancel this out. So he'll be able to just leave. Ask looking for this opportunity, though. We'll make his way over, take a bath in the Firefly, and crit. We'll finally get slain. We pushed him around a bunch to get that kill. But all right. They lost two racks, but they got some big kills. That part is helpful, at least. Uh, the Otizi kill was great. Uh, finally saw another flash of brilliance from Divai Lama, tossing him back with the chain disabled. Scary. So. That's very scary. <laughs> oh, my God. Divai Lama. Okay, the roll forward coming out from Crit. We'll manage to stun immediately. Oh, and that's the drag over to the side, though. Now they'll be able to go and they get Crit almost immediately. The rest of EG, though, Sam, throwing out the disruption. This is exactly where it's going. The arrow coming through, but there it is. There's that BKB. Sam should get shredded to bits now as the rest of Wild Card. They're backing off. Those BKBs have been expended. Be interested to see if EG decides they want to go right back up again, try to push their here. And they have the cheese over on Abed. Oh, he goes in. He's going in. You see that seal coming out here? Yeah. They just chased down X and look at all of the spotty damage. Go right back on in again, though. Crit rolling around the tower will go down. Crit taking a decent amount of damage, but he is just buying space and time for them to hit these buildings. EKB comes out now for Shadow Demon. They'll turn around briefly. Yes, they do have to be careful with the Aegis, though. Okay, they'll go for the Thunder. Drag back, though, coming out from X. He's going to see if he can get off as much damage as possible, but it's pretty difficult because on the back line, so there's no, okay, that's going to be the Aegis. Oh, I bet he's jumped in. He's got the hex off over onto Sam. Is going to be able to find the kill onto Shadow Demon. Sam buys back, though. They want to be a part of this. They'll find a kill on all. Oh, and good. now they need to finish off. Can they do it? Look at the standing toe to toe here with our team. This is not looking good for them. Yes, that's a turn. Oh, so, let's see how the fight Crit. goes. Rolling forward. Does find themselves the drow immediately. Okay, good it's safe though. Fine time. Boat comes through. This is not looking great though. And they're still going to be able to take that even. They're going to immediately fly back the drag back though. Over to the side. Now they'll be able to go toss back up into the air. They have so much damage. They got him. They'll get the kill on Arteezy. Now their arrow getting tossed off, and he's already decided he's just got to get out of here. Right here, right now. Jerex, they do spot him. They have anything to cancel? No. Ah, so, it's good defense. They got Arteezy, pulled him super out of position. Good, good save. Okay. Okay, Sam. He's just trying to go for that bounty rune, but he's going to end up paying for it. All right, good pick off. That's a dieback. That is a dieback arrow. Getting tossed out. Now, are they going to go high ground? Or are they going to... Are they going to back and do Roshan? I feel like with the Shadow Demon down, right? Like, this is your opportunity. It is a good spot. It, it is just so good against these heroes. Now they know it's definitely down. The Batrider is going to be up in a couple seconds, so they do have to be mindful of that. But... The X off here, trying to stack up a little bit. The arrow connects, but of course they have the BKB. They've got the Lotus Orb over onto Nightfall. Sacrifice himself. Well, our no, X. doesn't have to. You're right. Ask goes, he gets a drag back over on the Enchantress. The X back though, yes, yeah, so he'll still be able to take down Jerax. Dude, the barracks survived, oh my gosh. Very little, yeah, 50, 60 something, and it's going back up again. Oh, getting shredded. Oh, the silence was placed over on Dwarkeez, it's a slip fight. They have just left the Vylama all alone here, and there's just so much damage coming out from our teams, coming out from Nightfall. They'll take down the Vylama, the buyback now coming out from Tiny, as they do a lot of damage over onto Esk, and Esk, he tries to go to the high guard again. It's a triple kill now. More buy coming out. 
You see this opening, they want it. And Divai Lama again jumps forward using that flank, does get the avalanche, but it's still it's alive. alive. Somehow it is still alive, and it definitely should not be. So they finally managed to take it down. They'll take down the other side. The tier fours are getting wailed upon by the creep. Back into the base. This may be like a little bit of over caution by EG, but they can definitely finish this and head back to the base with uh, with some advantages here. Got a refresher orb on Kunkka. They've got a shard on Roche. Another free Ags going to somebody, probably Abed, since he's got a refresher. Or uh, Draw Ranger still dead. So this is the time for them to end the game cleanly. I do like a Waterbender Kunkka. It's pretty fun. He's going to have three ultis with the shard as well. So, oh my god. Yeah. Three BKBs. Everybody's three computers are just going to explode at that point. Uh, it's going to be like 15 boats or something like that. <laughs> An armada, yes. Yes. Complete the armada. The nightfall blinking forward. Uh oh. It's a drag back. He might oh, no. They overextend it. No, they have the edge. Apply the break, and we do have that torrent storm just everywhere right now. And it feels like wild cards are chasing after this viper, but they can't quite find the opening over here. Very nice play here. Thunder comes off. They'll turn back around. They'll just blow up Sam. They'll take down the building so quickly. It's just water. Well, left and right. S can't even get close to it before he just immediately fell to put the snowballs. Rolling Thunder over onto the back line. Coming out from Chris. They pop the BKB. It's all over. All right, EG does it. does ruin him and i also was always a big fan of like time twice this game he has the two kills that are on the board right now but he's kind of i feel like he's kind of struggling to figure out where he should go and what he should do as the bottom lane they have managed to put out plenty of damage onto sam and he should fall crit very very close yeah i think he's gonna fall as well okay middle lane the assault continues. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, Sam's not too unhappy about that one. Doesn't get experience, but whatever full mana for him setup is not good. They don't have disable setup. Everything's a little bit finicky and difficult. And he hasn't been able to land those yet. Dealing with the Naga is really hard because he has illusions to dodge arrows. Um, there's like too much AOE to the scenario. This is a... <laughs> I was about to say, that's a very deep dive there, Abed. I, it's fun to watch EG this game. They're just playing so interesting. Crick getting gone on mid. That's a good arrow this time around, so that should be able to get this kill. Yep, this time. Very it good. will connect Abed, though, hunting through the trees. This is going to see out. Oh, that slight hurts on, so strikes. much. Bottom lane, Sam. Oh, they do have coming. the gate. They're coming in hot, but uh, they're going to have to go chasing after Jarek. We have the Pit of Malice. Should have plenty of damage. Uh, smoke comes from... Wildcard Gaming, though, Invoker is trying to get on the map. Alex as well. Tornado into Arrow is definitely their best catch right now. The prize is mine. Arteezy sitting over on the low ground trying to farm up the camp. They're hoping perhaps they run into him. There's an Atos picked up. <laughs> Zero slower than this patch. It's fastest. <laughs> That's a way to phrase it. But uh, that will help with a bit more of that lockdown. Come on, and, Spikes. Uh, We'll use the Viper Strike over in Jarek's, but Crit is following up. There's the Atos like we talked about. Vi Lama going up the back lines. So we'll be able to go throw down the Pit of Malice, but Nightfall following up with the Silence, just chasing after Sam. They'll find a kill easily as Divi... Oh, they use everything on this poor Underlord. That was cool. And that's that what that fight right there, getting that double kill, is just a reflection of how Jarek plays this game. Radiance and he does it every single game. So it's, it's, it's hard to gank him because yeah. Arteezy is really good at this hero. It's definitely one of his signature heroes. He pushes out lanes effectively so that he doesn't get pressured. This is a pretty nice kill if they can get it. They find the lean over in the mid lane, hop forward from Alex, Starstorm, and the final hit with that Firestorm. Fire, stars, everything falling over there. Dyer's and Rod of Atos makes this easy. Atos, two second disable, then you land the Pit of Malice, then Arrow's gonna land. So this is their uh, their Dyer's their way to open up the map. And while that tower. gank is good, the, the tough thing with the Marana pick this game is that we haven't had those combos all game, like we did mm -hmm. earlier today. So, uh, Arteezy finally getting active. He uh -oh, wants a free Sam? Sammy Boy kill, and he's dead. Sam was not expecting that to happen there. Dyer's wasn't expecting it swooped upon. They do manage to get the tower, but you have to be careful. Pit of Malice will land here from the Vi Lama. There'll be a Tornado EMP thrown out all bad, and there's the song from Arteezy. <laughs> Beautiful positioning here. They'll release the song. They have the LSA. They have so much damage. They just clean up Eska and Alex so very quickly. And uh, it takes some doing, because, you know, Divai Lama, he's a tanky boy, but 
when you have that on so many moments to land crucial stuns to protect his allies from getting gone on so and in this case great setup here Arteezy plays by Lama bottom lane it's opening here LSA from Cran Laguna Nightfall giving him the smacks as Jerax will join in and again he's very tanky but the mouse gets dropped even though they pop the BKB over onto Nightfall and they will eventually and now they just keep cut creep waves don't let them farm the triangle don't let them farm anywhere there are no breaks on this EG train they're just non-stop like look at this they land the arrow okay all right it's just gonna slide around at least and Sam is sitting at like almost no health. Neither is Ovid though. Bottom lane, they found the Vi Llama. Impetus will make sure that. Uh... <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Alex is there as well. This is going to be a dead viper. They get the root off though. Over onto Ovid. Arrow does connect, but they're just using it to run away. They they just don't feel confident enough on the side of Wildcard, especially when you have Nightfall just jumping over onto your Marana. Oh, you need to do one more hit here, Nightfall. Use the is fake he gonna grenade. go for it? Is he gonna actually do the it? The fake grenade. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> That's quite the dive is over on the so, side. Yeah, you need to just pop it. Oh, and already you can see Ovid joining into the fight. There's quite a few, uh, quite a few heroes here. Ovid does not oh, care. Gonna kill him, but Look they at realize. him, he's just hunting over here at Ask, and they find themselves Alex very quickly. Grips cleaning up. By Lama again, you have that pit of malice on them losing Ask, and eventually they do manage to manage. They've got the aggression. They're gonna chase after Dubai Lama now. The buyback coming out from Viper. Another pit of malice getting used. Viper making his way forward here. Can they do enough? It just feels like they're gonna end up losing. Yeah, they'll end up losing Dubai Lama. They're gonna end up losing even more. Ask just gets obliterated, Sam, and they call the GG. They have just had enough on the side of Wild Card. Yeah, the only thing holding them together was that it was so early in the game that every kill was. Uh, in terms of respawn time, but an EG just completely dismantled Wildcard. I mean, I, I liked what they did with the Underlord in terms of how it could impact the, the Nog.